All right, what's going on, guys? New Force here, bringing a brand new video, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about Black Ops 4. This isn't a live commentary, um, like my videos normally are. This is going to be just me talking about Black Ops 4 as a game and why I might be posting it a little bit less. But before we even hop into that, let me just talk about what happened to me this past week. I have been sick as hell, and I don't understand what happened where it came from at all. I've been sick three times in 2019 so far. So, uh, just, I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I'm just, I'm just sick now, like all the time, and it makes no sense. But today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 4. You guys saw the thumbnail and, uh, the title. We're going to be talking about not posting at BO4 as much. We're going to get into my reasons, and then I'm going to talk about uh, some of the problems that I have with the game, even though, as like from the title, you can tell that I do like the game, there are some problems with it that I see, and uh, it could definitely be improved upon in that way. So, um, my reason for not wanting to post BO4 as much is because you guys don't seem like you want to see it. I put in the thumbnail my last three videos, um, a BO4 video, a uh, MWR video and a COD World War 2 video and the Black Ops 4 video has the least amount of views out of those three and that's how it is every single cycle because I, I post my videos in a cycle where I post MWR then COD World War 2 and then Black Ops 4 and um, the Black Ops 4 video always gets the least amount of views in that cycle um, in at least in the first day and then it never really catches up to the rest of them so it seems to me like you guys don't really want to see Black Ops 4 gameplay. You guys would much rather see games like MWR and COD World War 2. Now if that is not true and you guys want to see Black Ops 4, just let me know down in the comment section below. I will continue to post BO4, especially when I unlock new things. Like I'm really close to the Switchblade. You guys are going to see gameplay with the Switchblade SMG once I unlock it. I don't have it unlocked yet though, so I'm not going to be posting BO4 until I unlock it unless you guys let me know down in the comment section below that you guys want to see uh, BO4 gameplay in between the times where I unlock the new stuff. BO4 is actually an extremely fun game for me. I've, I really do enjoy gameplay as a whole. Um, I like the 150 health thing. I like everything about it. Um, I don't really like zombies and blackout that much in this game. I feel like they're not very good in comparison to the multiplayer, but I really do enjoy the multiplayer. Um, there are some things that I don't agree with in the multiplayer, though, and we can get into those right now. Um, first, I want to talk about Profit. Now, I know that they nerfed Profit in a way. They made the Seeker Drone a one-bullet death, like the Seeker Drone just dies as soon as you hit it one time, which is really awesome. But if that thing does make contact with you, there's still no way to destroy it right away. It's basically a free kill for whoever throws out the Seeker Drone if it doesn't get destroyed on the way to you. Um, I feel like that needs to be nerfed still. They need to uh, figure out a way to fix that. Um, also, I saw a video from Optimus Games about the Zero Specialist and how it um, unnecessarily um, destroys uh, score streaks. I feel like the Zero Specialist should be a counter to Specialists. I don't think that it should be a counter to um, score streaks. I feel like that is extremely dumb. There are already a ton of counters to score streaks in this game, like all of the launchers. And also, like, War Machine, that can be another big counter to score streaks like the Drone Squad. So I just don't understand why they're really doing that. Zero should really just be a counter to the specialist. It, they, Zero shouldn't counter score streaks, like, especially take over big score streaks like the Drone Squad. Like, whenever I call in a Drone Squad and I see a Zero trying to hack me, I just feel like it's just not necessary that they get to hack my Drone Squad. I feel like the one thing that they definitely shouldn't hack, however, is the Attack Chopper. Um, the Attack Chopper is one of the highest score streaks in the game, and the fact that you can just take it over by uh, barely even hacking for a little bit is kind of ridiculous and shouldn't even be a thing. But you guys let me know what you guys think about the Zero Specialist down in the comment section below. I just don't understand why they don't know how to balance the Zero Specialist. I feel like Optimus Games talked about that very well in his uh, video about the Zero Specialist. You guys can definitely go check out that video. I will leave a link in the description. Another thing... Um, that I don't really like about this game ever since the uh, buffs and nerfs that happened about a month ago now 
is the Rampart 17. Um, I feel like they shouldn't have even touched the Rampart 17, even though I called it the worst assault rifle in my video where I ranked all of the assault rifles. Um, I still think that the Rampart had its place in the game, just due to the fact that you get double high cal with it. Um, they made a weapon where you can get uh, basically increased damage from the chest and up with high cal too, and they buffed it and made it way better than it really should be. It really makes no sense why they would just buff the Rampart in the ways that they did. The Rampart was already a good weapon. All of the assault rifles were good weapons in this game before the balance changes, but they made the Rampart just a little bit too good just due to the fact that the Rampart does get double high cal. Now I do agree with the buff of the Rampart 17 because as I said, I did call it the worst assault rifle when I made my which assault rifle is the best video. but. Um, I feel like they buffed it a little bit too much. I feel like the Rampart is now one of the best weapons in the game as a whole. And um, sometimes I even call the Rampart the best weapon in the game if I feel like I'm dying to it a shit ton. And it feels like every single lobby there's at least one person running the Rampart. So I feel like the Rampart buff, they buffed it just a little bit too much for my liking. But then again, that's kind of like just nitpicky stupid thing but you guys can let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below as well rampart 17 did they buff it too much um does it need a little bit of a nerf now that it has been buffed to the status that it is right now or do you guys think that um the buff was perfectly fine and you guys don't see it overused like i do maybe maybe i just run into people that use the rampart and you guys don't just let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below as well and the final thing that I really want to talk about in this video when it comes to Black Ops 4 is just the um, the pay for DLC that is getting a lot worse, especially with Operation Grand Heist. Now, for some reason, I didn't really talk about this when Operation Grand Heist first started because I don't think I realized just how bad it could get with um, the DLC in this game. Um, the reserve cases, which are basically supply drops, is absolute BS and should definitely not be in this game especially after going so long without a supply drop type thing in this game the fact that we can now buy reserve cases is kind of ridiculous also the fact that um, you can only get the uh, weapons from old operations if you didn't get them in that operation of course through reserve cases is absolutely ridiculous so if you didn't if you weren't lucky enough to get the Cat 45, the Damon 3 XP, or the SWAT RFT from the last operation, you have to hope to get the Mark II variant out of the reserve cases. That is the only way that you can get them now, which is absolutely ridiculous. There should definitely be another way to earn those weapons. I'm not sure how, because you should definitely leave it like in the certain operations so that the people that did earn them at the time feel like the grind was worth it even though those weapons like they aren't like the best things in the game they're just they're just cool to have they're just a cool thing to be like yeah i grinded i got this but the fact that you can get them in the reserve cases now and that's the only way that you can earn them if you didn't earn them in the operation is kind of ridiculous i don't really like the changes that treyarch is making when it comes to the loot boxes in this game there weren't even any loot boxes in the game but they just felt like they needed to add them because they weren't making enough money. So that's why I believe that they added the, the reserve case thing. Also, there's like the bundle thing that you can't even earn. I don't even know how you're supposed to get that bundle. Maybe you get them after you hit tier 100. I'm really close to tier 100, so I'll let you guys know about that um, once I hit tier 100. But I just don't really like the way that Treyarch is going with the DLC in this game. I don't think really anybody is, but I mean, I don't really like it because I like... I like I liked how they, I liked how the tier system was working. I liked how they actually stole that idea from Fortnite because Fortnite has a great tier system. I think that that's a perfectly fine tier system for Fortnite, and it works really well for Black Ops as well. But I don't like how they're adding these reserve cases or anything like that. So just let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comment section below. Um, the big thing is let me know if you guys want to see Black Ops 4 gameplay when it isn't uh, something like a new weapon. Um, other than that, I'll post Cod World War 2 
and Modern Warfare Remastered because that is what you guys really want to see. You guys don't want to see Black Ops 4 as much, so I won't post Black Ops 4 as much unless you guys let me know different down in the comment section of this video. But uh, with that being said, that is going to be the end of the video, so it's been the new Enforcer. Leave a like, and possibly subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.